In this exercise, we'll see how to create a popular contemporary type effect, setting smaller type inside of another larger type outline. As a first step, I've created the original text that'll be used as filler material inside the other text outlines. The distressed or degraded appearance was created in the following way. I first created the 10-point type in Adobe Illustrator over a copy of the image on a separate layer. I did this so that the type would be in correct scale and proportion to the image. I then printed it to a laser printer. The printed page was then repeatedly copied in a photocopy machine with copies made of copies. This degraded the appearance of the text and also introduced some other artifacts. This step could have been avoided if you used a distressed typeface from among those available at some type foundries, although you wouldn't get the accompanying artifacts in that way. Anyway, this much degraded text block was then rescanned into Photoshop and is now ready for use. Be sure that you don't have a feathered selection. Next, in the Brushes palette options, choose Define Brush. This sets the entire area as the brush, although you only see a part of the text appear in the brush palette. From here, applying the text functions like any painting operation that we've done so far. Use it with any of the painting tools with their own characteristics and set the foreground color, opacity, and blend mode to achieve many painted variations. For instance, to use it as a paintbrush or a stamp, Simply click, click, click to lay it down. Change the foreground color and lay down some more. However, if you want it to sweep with the brush stroke, it can all get stuck together. To keep the appearance of letting, if you will, you'll have to increase the spacing of the brush. So now that we have our filler tool ready, we need to set up the type outlines next. Now create a blank new layer. And control or command click the layer with the word gay on it. This loads the contents as a selection. Now you can hide the text layer so you're only viewing the selection. In fact, you can even hide the selection marquee by typing Command or Control H. Now select the tool. I'll use the paintbrush, a blend mode, and opacity. And also the paint color.
and simply start to paint inside the area of the text. Because of the multiply blend mode, any overlapping text is rendered darker and you can generate a very nice textural quality in this fashion. And when you're done, type Command or Control D to deselect. And move on to the next text item and repeat the same process. And here we have a very nice type on type layer effect.